I guess the El Cortez is probably one of my favorite hotels down here. I just like the, like the old school vibe that it still keeps. You always see like a lot of old pictures of it. And like it still, it still seems similar. I mean, they've built up towers. They're actually doing a whole nother re, um, renovation inside. And they've only, and it wasn't too long ago where they did their previous one. You could actually see right here. It was like their whole timeline. See, in 2021, El Cortez celebrated its 80th anniversary with the completion of a two-year, 25 million renovation, which included a new high-limit room, an updated casino floor, and completely remodeled tower. 2022, the original 47 hotel rooms and hallways underwent a complete remodel, and now it's going through another remodeling again now in 2024. Not everything, but like, I know they're expanding the casino and doing a few other things. The, I heard the rooms, I haven't stayed there here yet, but the rooms are usually kept up pretty nice and clean. For the most part, you're always, you're gonna have anomalies and things, but from other videos that I watch that people stay here that do reviews on, yeah, and the rooms are updated and, and decent compared to some other hotels down here. And like still on the cheaper end. Like you can go do like Circa, but that's gonna run you. I would say if you're a big sports person and you come to Vegas and you want to stay downtown and you could wing it, it's not crazy, but depending on the budget, but Circa, good sports hotel, huge sports book. Just my opinion. Stay where you pleased. So you got the container park right here. This guy shoots out fire at night.
Last night I had a dream that disco music was making a comeback. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. So right here at the Atomic Liquor Cocktails, I actually did a, my recent video of uh, casino filming locations. This was the backdrop of what they portrayed as their Chicago garage. Um, you can still see the sign from, it was, it was very few shots. Then also, I believe it was the first hangover. I don't think it was the third one. I believe it was the first one that they had a scene right here as well. When I do a hangover filming location video, um, I'll probably, I'll probably do the first and third movie separately, but I mean, maybe together, I'll decide, but I think separately, but I'll be coming back here and getting that. But you can see that lined up in my recent casino filming location uh, video. You go check out. I also uh, did one of Vegas vacation. Did that one before the Mirage is officially closing in July. That's where they uh, they stayed, and um, I also did a recent one because the um, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. I did a recent video of uh, Ven the Venom trailer uh, that came out three. They uh, filmed a few scenes over at Paris Hotel, so I did a video of that recently. So we're at Ferguson's downtown. Come here, grab a coffee, check out unique stuff. I think this restaurant that was here recently just closed. I don't know what they're putting else again. But I know a lot of locals like to come here, but I would say if you are a tourist, this is the part of this you should probably, that you would need to come out, coming down Fremont East. There's nothing really much more going down this area, except the uh, motels that are no longer in business and abandoned. I do have a video, it's actually doing pretty well, um, going that way, of the old uh, motels. It's about to be a uh, sunset, so we are not going to go that way right now. We're going to head back towards the Fremont Experience. 915 we have the fireworks at the plaza i haven't seen that yet i want to make sure i get that footage it is also 100 degrees out right now still my golden goose